Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again, and I'm back with another Walking Dead video. So there's a lot of stuff to go over today. We have a brand new promo trailer for part three, part C, the final episode, whatever you want to call it. Can't believe we're getting closer and closer to the final eight episodes. And then that is it. That's all she wrote. <sighs> I can't believe it, you know, it's, it's gonna be something, you know, that final episode, ugh, I'm dreading it, because it just seems like all these other episodes just went so quick, you know, uh, it is what it is, so I also have a synopsis for part three, we have a new title change for the Negan and Maggie spinoff, as well as some first details about the Daryl spinoff. So let's jump right in and take a look at the brand new promo trailer here uh, from the opening shot, I guess. Um, they turned Alexandria into a prison of some sorts. Remember back from one of my filming update videos I did a long time ago, we knew this was going to happen, that they were going to turn Alexandria into some sort of prison, but by the looks of the sign over here, um, Alexandria Processing Center, so... I don't know. Uh, I don't know who is going in here, what else is going on in here, but, um, yeah. All right, so anyways, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at this uh, trailer. Here we go. Twelve years, 169 episodes. You go after the mountains. They'll crush you. Ooh, it's wonder what's going on there. We're running out of time. Yeah, Daryl with Rick's gun. And make your ride me easy. When's it ever? <laughs> When's it ever? <laughs> October second. Okay. Oh, okay. So that was a very interesting little trailer there. 12 years. Can't believe it. Jesus. So we got the Commonwealth soldiers coming to get Rosita. We've got all these people. Looks like some new people out here. Don't know who at least those two guys are, but um, yeah, they're outside the fence of somewhere. We've got, uh, what was that? Daryl and, and Maggie there hiding. Not sure what's going on, what they're hiding from, but we can see they're going down into uh, the tunnels. We've got Judith there with her little katana. We've got Milton talking to somebody. Either he's behind bars, which I highly doubt um, from the from the looks of it, it looks a little too big. So he's talking to someone who is behind bars. Not sure who the unlucky person is. We got something going on. I. I think this is like the city hall, I believe. Um, not sure what's going on here, but these two guys are just shooting someone, something, walkers, people. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we know that there's going to be riots and protests and all sorts of stuff. So, um,. Yeah, I I don't know, but uh, yeah, Pamela's not not happy. She's got blood all over the side of her face. She's screaming something, probably no or something, I guess. Led to this, we got them down in um, underground. Daryl with Rick's gun. It's good to see Rick's gun again. At least it's not Judith using it. You know, it 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 looks. I mean, I get it, you know, her having it, you know, she's got Carl's, Rick's hat, she's got Rick's gun, Michonne's katana, so she's kind of like a, a little bit of everybody, but I mean, that gun's way too powerful for her, <laughs> so I mean, at least Daryl's got it, and at least it's being used, I mean, yeah, she did use it against Negan, but you know, 
it's going to be used against people, you know. She just kind of shot it and scared Negan with it. But, you know, so that's pretty cool that uh, either way, the gun is back. Uh, we got more shooting from Carol. We have Negan uh, beating up somebody with a brick or a rock or something. I would not be surprised. I am betting that he's killing Sebastian. I could see it playing out that Sebastian accidentally or on purpose for some reason kills Negan's new wife and unborn child because um, as of right now from all the well I guess spoiler warning I, I guess spoiler warning um, I figured I'd let that set in you know in case if nobody wants to hear the spoilers uh, from all the pictures I've seen Negan's wife is not in the spinoff, so I'm guessing Sebastian kills her accidentally or on purpose for whatever reason. This is the result. I'm sure uh, Sebastian's face is probably a little, uh, you know, caved in. Um and thus could possibly explain why Negan is going to New York. Probably, um, I don't know, they probably gave him, like, the option, like, you can either take banishment or 10 years in jail or something like that. You know, which one, which one do you want to do? Because you did kill him, you know, instead of serving justice court whatever their their um uh, law and order system is you know what i mean so maybe he takes the banishment and thus explaining why he goes to new york as for why maggie goes with him i don't know which is also another interesting thing we haven't seen baby herschel from the pictures you don't think no no you don't think Sebastian could kill that would be an overkill I think I mean what I don't know. What if Sebastian kills baby Herschel and his wife and unborn child? Because, I mean, from all the filming pictures I've seen from Isle of Dead and the ones I've done videos on, Negan's wife is not there. I haven't seen baby Herschel in any of the pictures either. So unless he has, like, very small roles, which doesn't make any sense because you're on the move you're going through new york and stuff you'd what are you gonna do like you stay in the car you know so i don't know but you don't think they kill off bb herschel do you and thus negan just going into a complete fit of rage and maybe that's why maggie goes with him Because I haven't seen any pictures of baby Herschel or Negan's wife in in, in the spinoff pictures yet. Just saying. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, this is kind of terrifying. I don't like the looks of this. You got Aaron bracing himself against the door with walkers reaching and grabbing at him. I don't like that. I like Aaron. Aaron's an awesome character. He's like a Rick 2.0, so... Yeah. He better not die. Just saying. Got some fighting going on. More fighting. 
Uh, yeah, this also turned into a trailer breakdown video, too. Uh, you got Eugene beating up a Commonwealth soldier. Good on Eugene. Uh, we got more pictures of uh, just some quick walkers here climbing. Uh, ooh, that's not going to end very well. Um, climbing up the wall. But his wrist is really cut, so yeah, he's going to drop. His wrist is going to... And then you got... Uh, yeah, you got someone here who uh, cut off this one's face. Probably because they're seeing, you know, these walkers starting to climb walls and fences and stuff like that. And they're probably wondering, are the whispers back? October 2nd. All right, so let's. Uh, this video is actually getting longer than I expected it to be. Uh, let's jump over and quickly get through all this. So, for the Negan and Maggie spinoff, they are now changing the title. It is no longer called The Walking Dead Isle of the Dead. It will now be called The Walking Dead Dead City. Don't know why they changed it. I don't know. I'm guessing maybe um, The Walking Dead Isle of the Dead is just too much of a mouthful i guess or maybe although the walking dead dead city a little bit shorter easier to say uh, maybe marketing purposes you know um i don't see any information why um spinoff series is currently filming in new york city coming to air next year early 2023 has been changed from isla dead now it's called the walking dead dead city because as they say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Um, yeah, I don't see any. Um, I don't see anything explaining why they changed it from Isle of the Dead to Dead City. I don't know. I'm guessing probably marketing. Maybe, maybe it's just easy to market Dead City than Isle of the Dead. I, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but that's what the Negan and Maggie spinoff is now called. So let me know your thoughts on that. What do you think about it? Do you like Isle of the Dead better, or do you like Dead City better? Uh, and do you think they changed it for marketing reasons, or or what? Uh, okay, quickly moving on here. We have the synopsis for the last episode. It says, On the heel of the impressive presence of locusts. An even greater force is bearing down on every single member of each community. With Commonwealth flags raised at Hilltop, Alexandria, and Oceanside, there's no time to strategize for those on the road. It's a race against the clock to stay alive and extract those still living in the Commonwealth before Hornsby can execute his revenge. Ooh. Inside the Commonwealth, Connie... Connie's article has created more chaos than planned by exposing Governor Milton's corruption. Their hope to create a better, more equal life for all may instead put everyone at risk. With the vast debt of our group owes with no other valuable, viable place to live, simply leaving has never been an option, but if their next move falls, staying won't be an option either. What they're about to embark on will only invite more danger with massive consequences. The clock is ticking for our heroes inside the Commonwealth as well, as each group continues to get caught in uncontrollable situation. Threats lurk around every corner, dead and alive. The looming pressure cresting towards a day of reckoning for all. Will the sum of their individual journeys cultivate into one or divide them forever? The fight for a future continues to be expand, exp, I can't even say it, expat, expirated, hope I said that right, by ominous population of walkers. Not all will survive, but for some, the walking dead lives on. Uh, the expanded two-year 11th final season costs 24 episodes, uh, blah, 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 uh, Season 11 will air from October 2nd until the series finale on November 20th. Wow. Uh, okay, so that takes care of that. That is the synopsis. 
very dark and just a very dark synopsis you know not all will survive so like i've been saying you know um there hasn't been a lot of deaths major deaths this season um ooh, i don't know why my camera just zoomed out like that there we go um so yeah something i think it's going to be some sort of bloodbath we're going to lose quite a few characters like i said i i wouldn't be surprised if um i don't know the king jerry aaron um yumiko magna um negan's wife baby herschel uh i don't know i mean anyone is really fair game minus the characters that have already said and they were doing spinoffs, so like Negan, Maggie, Carol, even though she's not in the spinoff, but it was already announced, so most likely her ending was already written before she announced she's not doing the spinoff, so she's safe, and Daryl. Everybody else is kind of fair game. Uh, jumping on to... Uh, the Walking Dead spinoff starring Norman Reedus reveals first details. Uh, I'll skip ahead to uh, some of it. Um, yeah, it was focusing on Daryl and Melissa McBride's Carol and zombie apocalypse road trip. Uh, and Melissa McBride bowed out uh, in April as relocating to France, where the untitled series will film and take place was logistically unattainable for her. So it is going to be filmed in France. Angela Kang, who was to serve as Shona on the Daryl and Carol spinoff, also exited the series shortly after AMC confirmed Melissa McBride's departure. That kind of sucks. Uh, the still untitled Daryl solo series will shoot this year under ER's David Zabel Zabel as showrunner. Gimple is still overseeing the Redis led show in his role as chief content officer at AMC's Walking Dead Universe. Oh, God, Gimple's overseeing it. Ugh, I mean, he's still working on the Rick Michonne show thing. So, I don't know. It's Gimple, so uh, who knows. Uh, the executive producer addressed the Daryl spinoff live Sunday during the Talking Dead, the Walking Dead Universe Preview 2022 special, revealing plans for the series set to premiere in 2023 on AMC and AMC+. The Daryl spinoff takes place in France, so he is going to France. Interesting. I wonder what the explanation is for that and why he's leaving and why France. You know, hey, I'm going to go on a road trip to France. Confirming a connection to the variant walkers introduced in the post-credit epilogue of The Walking Dead World Beyond. Gimple said, The World Beyond Coda is a bit of a tease of some of the things Daryl is going to face. Daryl is a fish out of water to start with. If Daryl finds himself with new people, he's a fish out of water. In France, in a country that is going through the apocalypse, it's an entirely different thing, Gimple added. He finds himself having to reinvent himself again, having to find himself again, and also not being with probably the only people in the world he's comfortable with. Um, during The Walking Dead's final series panel at San Diego Comic-Con, Reedus assured the Comic-Con crowd that Carol and Daryl's story isn't over yet. Reedus commented, echoed a statement by AMC, which said that McBride could return to The Walking Dead universe after what Reedus called some time off. Um, Melissa McBride has given life to one of the most interesting real human popular characters in the Walking Dead universe. Uh, no longer able to participate in the spinoff. Uh, relocating to Europe became logistically unattainable for her. Um, yeah, this is all same stuff they said um, already. Okay, so there we go. So Daryl is going to France. I don't know who he's going there for, what he's looking for. Um... It's going to be interesting to see what reason they give for him going there. Uh, I don't know. But either way, that is pretty cool that we're actually going to see uh, the variant walkers. So that's going to be um, 
that's going to be very cool to see those variant walkers because i mean why else did you tease them uh yeah daryl's going to be very lost like they said plenty of times daryl is a fish out of water because now you're going to france i'm pretty sure daryl can't speak french so what's he gonna do when he comes across people <laughs> you know how's he gonna communicate and and try to talk to them that's gonna be interesting uh but yeah we will uh we'll have to to wait and see um you know how this all plays out and uh what is going to happen with carol and stuff if they're going to reunite are they going to is daryl going to come back um where is carol going to go you know because i'm pretty sure the ending um it was already written before she announced that she was leaving so i wouldn't be surprised if it's like her and daryl riding off into the sunset on a bike and then where do we go from there does he like dump her off somewhere or does she like turn around and go back like i don't know and then what are they going to do when they reunite how are they going to reunite that's another question you know uh it's going to be very interesting but um yeah this video is way longer than i intended it to be but there was a lot of information to go over so uh let me know what you guys think of all this um you know, what do you think about the shot of Negan there? Uh, do you think he's killing Sebastian? Do you think Sebastian killed Negan's wife? Do you think he killed baby Herschel? Do you think he killed both? Do you think it was intentional or accidental? Or do you think he's just beating up somebody else? And if he didn't, Sebastian didn't kill either one of those characters, where are they? Because like I said, um, I've done two filming update videos so far. None of those characters are in any of the pictures. There is no there is no Negan's wife. There is no baby Herschel. Unless baby Her... You can't leave baby Herschel behind without your mother. Like, you stay here. I'm going... I'm going to New York with Negan. Like... I'm just going to, like, leave your kid there and, like, abandon him? No. Like... So... I don't know. And even if he is there and did go with them, you know, like, where, where is he? You know, haven't seen any pictures of him. You figure if he's there, you're going to be, you know, you're on the road. So you, it's not like you, you stay here. We're going. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe somebody out there can answer all those questions you know because i honestly have no idea i don't know i can't see him go well then it's the walking dead you know so who knows maybe they will go that dark and um you know kill negan's wife and unborn child and baby herschel i i don't know um and then what do you think about the title change for the negan and maggie spinoff do you like it do you not like it do you prefer isle of the dead better um and uh yeah what do you think about daryl going to france it's got to be interesting what do you think his reason for going to france is so let me know anyways lots of information um i'm still working on getting more pictures to do another filming update video i got a couple not too many it's been kind of hard finding uh some pictures and stuff like that but i'm still continuing to gather pictures so hopefully i'll be able to do another filming update video uh they are in new york um yeah they are near the uh or were at the near the brooklyn bridge so that's going to be very cool to see a shot of that so anyways uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up button that'd be awesome remember feel free to subscribe to my channel follow me on social media links are in the description box below and other than that just stick around more videos are on the way and i will see you guys next time